You may have seen these little guys in the seafood section, lionfish. The state of Florida wants more people to know about this fish and to give it a try. Lionfish are a non-native invasive fish that belong in the Pacific. So how did they get here? Well, back in the 1980s, some lionfish spilled out of an aquarium and into the Gulf. And since then, they have multiplied. They are covering the East Coast and the Caribbean, as well as our state. The lionfish is a predator, but it doesn't have anything here to prey on it. So the state needs people to do that. Let me see it. It's just like a pest. You got it. You got to eliminate them. So anybody that's in this community knows it's a problem. If you don't take care of this problem, it'll t affect your whole fish supply. So you want to go and get a, you know, a snapper or a grouper at a restaurant. There's not going to be any left if we don't take care of this now. Yeah, there won't be. Lionfish can reproduce at age one. Compare that to five to eight years old for other reef fish. An average female can spawn more than three million eggs per year. They can thrive from shallow water all the way down to a thousand feet in all temperatures. And they're covered in 18 spines that contain a painful venom. They are scary looking. There was supposed to be a lionfish derby in Sarasota this weekend. That fishing tournament has been canceled due to weather, but the taste of the lionfish event is still on for Sunday night. It will be at Moat. Five local chefs will serve lionfish inspired cuisine featuring this white flaky fish. Tickets have already sold out, but don't worry. There are two more local tournaments coming up in Sarasota and in St. Pete.